I am very thankful to Madhwar City for giving opportunity to highlight my views on pneumonia in children. Pneumonia is inflammation or consolidation of lung and usually divided into categories based on etiological and anatomical consideration. Pneumonia due to infectious or a non-infectious etiology may be broadly classified according to etiology as an infective pneumonia or a non-infective pneumonia. Active infective pneumonia is the commonest cause of hospitalization and mortality is under five children of India, responsible for 20% death in this age group. What is the etiology of pneumonia? According to the source of infection, these cases may be classified as a community acquired pneumonia. Although the frequency of various etiological agents varies with the age, source of infection, and immune status of child, following facts are not worthy. Community acquired pneumonia, predominantly viral, that prevalence is 50%. Bacterial pneumonia, it is 40%. Viral pneumonia may be caused by specific respiratory virus. There is a respiratory sensitive virus, influenza, parainfluenza, adenovirus. And as a part of generalized exanthematous illness, that is measles or varicella. Bacterial pneumonia, may be primarily or superimposed on a viral or a non-infective pneumonia. Etiology of bacterial pneumonia depend on the age as well as microbial pattern in community as follows. Common cause of pneumonia. Community acquired pneumonia in newborn, most common is staphylococcal origus E. coli, Klebsiella, and gram-negative beta staphylococcal streptococcus pneumonia. In infant, there's a heap, staphylococcus aureus, streptococcal pneumonia, and viruses. In preschool, there is S pneumonia, S pyogenes, heap, and virus. And in school going most common, mycoloplasma pneumonia, Streptococcal pneumonia or virus viral pneumonia. Second group is a nosocomial pneumonia. In nosocomial pneumonia, etiology, there's a gram negative pneumonia, there are Klebsiella and Pseudomonas. And gram positive pneumonia, there's a Staphylococcus aureus and colds. And fungal, there is a Candidiasis. Third group, there's an opportunistic pneumonia. Opportunistic pneumonia, there's a pneumocystis carinae, fungal candidiasis, and virus cytomegalovirus. Neonatal pneumonia is usually caused by gram-negative pathogens from maternal vaginal flora and group B streptococci GBS. The commonest cause of pneumonia in a developed country is rare in India. In childhood, H. influenza he is the commonest cause of pneumonia in first year of life, followed by Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus, and pneumococci. The incidence of he pneumonia declined rapidly after infancy with simultaneous rise in pneumococcal pneumonia. In school-going children and adolescent, mycoplasma pneumonia is the commonest cause of community acquired pneumonia. And though incidence of clamida infection is rising, nosocomial pneumonia are usually gram negative with Klebsiella and Pseudomonas as a leading pathogens. Opportunistic pneumonia. Opportunistic pneumonia are usually negative Staphylococcus, Candida, and Pneumocystis carinae are common in immunocompromised children. 
What is the difference between bacterial pneumonia and a viral pneumonia? The bacterial pneumonia, there is onset is abrupt, course is progressing, temperature, high grade temperature, child is toxic, there's a toxemia is there, respiratory distress present, and it is not associated with upper respiratory infection. And auscultation, there is a crepitation and wheezing plus minus. And on rhodological, there is a lobar opacity. And hyperinflation is plus minus. And pleural involvement occur in case of bacterial pneumonia. And pneumatocin is present in case of bacterial pneumonia. Why? In case of viral pneumonia, the onset is gradual, course is self repeating temperature present or not, patient is not toxic, and the respiratory distress, it is mild to moderate. And it this viral pneumonia, the characteristic feature, it is associated with upper respiratory tract infection. And auscultation, the wheezing is more common in this pneumonia. On radiology, there is a patchy distribution. There is diffuse infiltrate in a perihilar areas. And there is, in respiratory viral infection pneumonia, there is a, on X-ray, there is a hyperinflation. And there is no pneumatocin and the no pleural involvement in case of viral pneumonia. Which are the criteria for severe cases? How you decide the severity? If the pneumonia of the child less than two months, it is a severe. Child with severe distress and the respiratory failure, there is a pneumonia is serious. Child with hypoxia and cyanosis, there is a, it is severe. Child with inability to feed, child with oliguria, altered sensorium, convulsion and shock, there is a severe pneumonia. Child with febrile neutropenia, there is ANC is less than 1500 millimeter cube and child with features suggestive of sepsis, there is severe pneumonia. In severe pneumonia in this category, it is ideal to initiate with ampicillin, penicillin, third generation cephalosporin, cephotexine, and cephtrioxone plus aminoglycosides or alternative would be parenteral amoxicillin or sexferozine with aminoglycoside usually for 10 to 14 days and as deemed necessary. Infant less than two months of age with pneumonia should be treated as a neonatal sepsis. Hospital acquired pneumonia. Pneumonia acquired in an institution like hospital or a nursing home is usually caused by enteric gram-negative bacilli, that's an E. coli, proteus, and clepsila, and staphylococcus aureus, P. erysinosa, or due to oral anaerobes. The drugs suggested are given as following. Opportunistic pneumonia. Opportunistic organism are those with the minimum pathological potential or a non-pathogenic which may become opportunistic pathogen and cause disease exclusively in immunocompromised host or an immunocompetent host with defect in a normal defense or immunosuppressive therapy. Lower respiratory tract serve as an important portal entry for systemic infection. As sputum may be contaminated with upper respiratory flora, and bronchoalveolar lavage obtained by fiber optic bronchoscopy plays significant role in isolation of offending organism. Antibiotics should be started based on a suspected organism along with the clinical scenario. If there is a no improvement after 48 hours, evaluated child thoroughly and considered changing antibiotic and revise the diagnosis. What is the epidemiology of pneumonia? Community acquired pneumonia are acquired as a droplet infection 
from a case or a carrier of organism through the hematogenous spread from distant and septic focus is a common in newborn and debilitated children. Nosocomial infection may originate from any animate or inanimate source in a children. Important risk factor for a recurrent pneumonia in children include there is a environmental factors, there is overcrowding, pollution, and passive smoking. Another risk factor pertaining to nutrition, there is a nutritional deficiency in protein energy malnutrition and vitamin A deficiency. And third important risk factor regarding the aspiration, recurrent aspiration in case of clap palate, gastroesophageal reflux, and bulbar palsy. Fourth, there is in immunodeficiency disorders, in AIDS is a risk factor for pneumonia. And increased pulmonary vascularity, there is a congenital heart defect. And chronic lung disease, there is asthma, TB, and cystic fibrosis, there is a recurrent pneumonia. And other, that is low birth weight and top feeding risk factor for recurrent pneumonia.